Hey guys, welcome back to Skyrim. Uh, this time we're going to be doing the Dragonborn DLC, which is why I'm outside Windhelm. Hey! Oh wow. Oh wow, he almost killed me. Uh, as you can see, we have a little bit of a dragon problem uh, that decided to terrorize Windhelm right about the time that I'm, I'm doing my shit. So, um... Holy crap. We're just gonna have to deal with this dragon, I guess. Right off the bat. Ancient dragon. Get out of my... Get out of my face. We don't have time to deal with you right now. We're gonna be riding one of you in a second, hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know, this ancient dragon has got a lot of health. Why well, you got a lot of health? Why well, are you not dead? Don't you, don't you breathe on me. Don't you even try to breathe on me. Now he's gonna go eat. Eat the people. Yep. Just straight up in Windhelm. Just destroying stuff. Come on, you bitch. Get down here. Yeah, we're just not going to pay attention to who he's breathing out right now. <laughs> we're just not going to do it. Oh, I have enough magic for this. Good lord. Don't you, don't you breathe on me. Do it. Get out of here with that. <sighs> Man, five minutes later. Oh, don't you do it. Don't you breathe. Don't do it. I, I need you to not breathe on me. I'm going to try to do this without any potions. We're just going to... We're just going to... He's on the ground. He's about to die. Oh, you're dead. Well, that was an eventful start to all of this. Um... I'm pretty sure I have all of this, so I'm just going to take the important stuff. Like the scales and the gold. Alright, so we are finished with the Dawn Guard. Finally, that took, uh, that took like forever. I don't know if we kept getting distracted or what. We have Lydia back! Yay! And she has all of her stuff uh, because she didn't have it, so I don't know if I had to spawn it in for her or what, but I just gave her all Ebony, all Ebony stuff. And I think she still has my improved, um, improved boots. Who are you? In all my years, I've never seen such a thing. Yeah, me neither. It didn't give me a soul, did it? I think we're still, um, I don't know. It's, it's bugged again to where I, I can't get souls from dragons anymore. But, uh, maybe we won't need to. I'm trying to figure out how to get to Solstheim. For those of you who don't remember, we kind of already jump-started the Dragonborn stuff a little bit uh, when we were doing the Dawn Guard stuff. We ran up on these three guys in the middle of nowhere um, when we were trying to find uh, Dawn Guard people to recruit. Uh, and you didn't miss anything, pretty much. We just uh, fought them, kicked their butts, and they're like, you're not the real Dragonborn or something like that. So we gotta go, after we beat them, we have to go to Solsheim to figure out what's going on with that. So, once I figure out how to get over there to those boats, <laughs> I'll see you again. Boats? Is this the boats, please? Please let this be the boats. Yay! We're at the boats! Okay, you had to, like, go into Windhelm and go out another Skyrim door. And it's not, like, um, directionally proportional to, like, out here. Because I tried to just go left a little bit, and that was not, that was not the solution. Or right. I tried to, I tried to just go in this general direction inside of Windhelm. That did not work. I guess I gotta talk to that person over there. Galland Salt Sage. If you're looking for passage to Solstheim, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Bitch, I am the Dragonborn. You're taking me to Solstheim. Um, but what happened? Why aren't you going back? It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then... 
the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. All right. <laughs> yes, you are. You're taking me there. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. I mean, that's what I wanted to say, but I didn't think the game would let me say it. <laughs> um, I can either pay him 500 gold, I can persuade him, or I can intimidate him. Uh, let's try to persuade him. Like, we're on the same side, buddy. They tried to kill me, too. All right. You have oh, my God, it worked. Taking you back to find out who sent them is the least I can do. Besides, maybe you can put a stop to whatever's going on over there. I owe them a bit of payback myself. Oh, okay, that was a little bit of lag, but... Yay, we're going to Soul Slime! Oh, okay, that was a lot of... We just, like, teleported through the world. Got a whole bunch of scenery at once. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Okay. I can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good I want to know what this temple over here on the left is. figure out what's going on around here. I guess it sounds like something creepy is going on. Probably has to do with necromancy. <laughs> That's what it usually is. Outlander. I hear that's a good show. Oh, we can move now. Great. Lydia's with me with her ebony armor and her giant bone weapon of awesomeness and destruction. I don't recognize you. I don't so recognize I you either. This is the first time we met. This is your met. first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. So, State your Ravenrock, intentions. Uh, thank you, Lydia, for that input. Um, I'm looking for Mirak. Do you know him? Mirak, I... I'm not sure that I do. I'm Just pretty remember. sure you're lying. Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Oh yeah, this is Morrowind. The land of my people. I forgot. Um, why are you so suspicious around visitors? I have to be. A second counselor, the security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. I guess. Has this been an issue for you? This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here, and we've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Counselor Morvane down. Okay. What do your titles mean? Counselor Morvane is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. A second counselor is my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. I know I should know what the name Redoran means, but I don't. It's drawing a blank. I don't know who those people are. <laughs> um, so, do you know who Mirak is? Or don't I, you? Uh, I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, do you know anything about him? I don't think so. I'm not. The, the name has something to do with the Earthstone, I think, but I'm not sure what. Well, we'll go. Remember, we we'll go explore. Oh, well, fuck Yolanda. you. I was starting to wonder what happened. Should we listen to this? We, uh... We were delayed by bad weather. Yeah, Before yeah, good lie there. Ask, yes, I have the supplies you requested. But... But what? This load cost me double what we'd agreed on. Nothing I can do about it. Damn it, Jolland, you know we don't have that Jolland? Okay, I guess. Look, the East Empire Company I, didn't I give the, me a I choice. I thought the Jays were wise. They've raised their prices again. And there's nothing I can do about it. After all these years, they're gouging us for every last drake we have. Let me talk to Laryl. I'll see what... Okay, that seems to be going nowhere. These, um, I'm liking this armor, though. I did not, for, for those of you who played Morrowind, I did not. 
Um, that was before I even knew what the Elder Scrolls were, um, because I was not a PC gamer back then. But now I am, so... Uh, just in case you were thinking I was gonna, like, uh, get some references or anything, no. I don't know if this is the armor that they used in that game, but it looks pretty cool. This is the temple. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Where is... Oh! Map? Okay, let's not look at the local map. Oh, I'm supposed to be going way out here? Okay. Man, this place is pretty. Don't... No. Stop it. No. Ugh. Okay, I don't know where we are. So I'm gonna go outside. Because we gotta investigate. Oh, okay. We're on the other side of it, I'm guessing. Where are we on the map now? We're going the wrong way. Cool. Cool! Alright, so I'm just gonna turn around. Oh, there it is, right there. I don't, uh, should I try to swim out there? That seems like a not good idea. Let's just go back in. Jesus Christ. Let's run through the whole town, because we have lots of time. Oh, wait, can I? Yeah! Let's get our back out. Running is for plebeians. Is this a shrine? The green thing that I've been wanting to investigate? Is this where we're supposed to go anyways? Great. Great. See? Intuition. First stone discovered. Rhetoric card. So is that a place? I thought that was like... You there. You don't seem to be in quite the same state as the others here. <laughs> Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? I'm watching Arvac get really, really comfortable with you. <laughs> so I'm looking for somebody named Mirak. Mirak, Mirak. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place... Oh, wait, uh, I recall. But that makes very little sense. Nerak's been dead for thousands of years. Oh, well, no no wonder nobody knows who he is or anything about him. I'm not sure, but it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Nerak's toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Okay, so what you guys doing here? Building something, clearly. Oh, no and shit. Yet they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. Oh, so you're not you're not like leading them? They're not supposed to be building something? What is going on? Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on, and I would be unable to see how this all turns out. All right, this is confusing. What can you tell me you about Morrowind? You are too young to remember the Nerevarim. He defeated Dagoth Ur and saved us all from the blight. Okay. Are we done? I thought so. And when the world shall listen. Oh, we can activate it? And when the world shall sing. And when That seems inadvisable. Remembers. Oh, well. Fascinating. Oh, okay. By touching the stone, you appear to have fallen under whatever influence is affecting the others. That you have forgotten. Hey. That we might Can I stop? Remember. I wonder how... Ah, so you are able to resist the effect by exerting your will. Oh, okay. I would not advise touching the stone again. The effects of repeated contact could be... Bitch, I'm the dragonborn. Unless, born. of course, you'd like my to continue to my investigation. It could be very enlightening to observe you. Uh, no thanks. You can go fuck off. Ah, uh, exotic plants. Yes. Yes. Plants I can't get anywhere else. Yes. Oh, you can get spiky grass other places. Never mind. Never mind. 
So, what do we have to do now that we have investigated the shrine? All from ourselves. Okay, so that's why they're talking, like, nonsensical. It's because the stone has us. some sort of power over them to make them work and build. Right, so that's so why he... <laughs> I was confused as to why people would just be building something and you not know why. But, okay, it makes... It makes slightly more sense now. Oh my god, this stuff is just everywhere. I know I said running is for plebs, but uh, plebs can pick flowers. <laughs> That's pretty great. Um, so where do we go now? What's this over here? This is the Severin Manor. I'm sure that will be useless, useful to us later. Okay, so this is a fairly small map because it didn't take me very long to run to run over there. So I now have a better ideal idea. Can we please stop this? Why do I have to? Why? This is the middle of the island. I don't think so. I think you're just slightly off there by a bit. Because this seems to be um, almost as far north as we can get. This would be like middle of the island right here. To me. But I'm not from Morrowind. They know better than me. So we're going to try to get over there. Um, for those of you who've, who've <laughs> like been watching from the beginning. Um, you know that we'll get there in about 12 episodes. So we got to get out of here somehow. Oh, there's an alchemy place and a blacksmith place. That's one thing I didn't do in between um, finishing Dawn Guard and starting this one is usually when there's like a break. I'll level up my alchemy and my enchanting and my blacksmithing as much as I can, but um, I didn't. Arvac? Aw, oh, buddy. Buddy. There you go. <laughs> thought I was going to have to get off of him. So yeah, now we get to explore Morrowind. That seems like not good over there. Hello? Oh cool, just a bunch of just a bunch of guys. Oh no, they're burning him. What is this? March of the Dead. That sounds like something I don't really want to be a part of. Oh good lord, I can't. I'm just killing my horse. Third person is awful if you're a mage. Can't do it. <laughs> well, sad Lydia. I don't want to kill him. Just in case this becomes something like um, Warlords of Draenor and he can like join my garrison later. Get down. Captain Belleth, I just saved your life. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. <laughs> Were those zombies? Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ashspawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. Why are you out here at this old farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to help him, so I'll give you a hand. Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides... I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind, and I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Oh, I thought you were coming with me. I'm just doing it for you. Okay, so where do I start? We were searching the farm when the Ashspawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Okay. Um, do you know Merak? Uh, I might know someone, or maybe not. I can't remember. Okay, so I thought captain dude or council dude came up on the ship he's like nah man I don't know who Merrick is and I thought he was totally lying but I think there's like some sort of like uh retention spell going on where people just can't remember I, I can't I just can't be sure I think maybe he had something to do with a temple a, a, a temple here on the island but does that help uh no no it doesn't because I'm already going there back to me if you discover anything on yeah, okay. They seem to have uh, very good loot, so... Oh, there was a declaration of something, and... Uh, oh, bone mold. 
heck? Maybe? I can't tell if these are better. Who knows? Also, I'm gonna try... A, it's night time now. I've, I've realized talking to that guy. Um, but with like the last Dawn Guard video, I'm gonna try to just keep light up if we're inside as much as possible. I do it anyways. But uh, that fight was pretty dark since I forgot to refresh light in there. So sorry about that. Oh, the note, right, that we got, which says something. Uh, declaration of war, is that it? Yeah, Rock Raven Stronghold. My calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and an immediately cessation of all hostilities has been ignored numerous times. Therefore, I have no choice but to assume that your purpose on Solstheim is hostile and to treat Raven Rock Stronghold as an enemy of the Empire. I warn you, any attempt to breach Fort Frostmoth will be met with an equal level of aggression. I will do everything in my power to wipe you and your forces from the face of Tamriel. There will be no further communications between us. General Fox Cairns, Garrison Commander, Fort Frostmoth. I don't see how he couldn't just scribble that on the bottom there. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a whole waste of parchment right there. The second page with just your name on it. But you know, whatever. It's your letter, not mine. Oh, it's like a volcano. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before the ash spawn came up. Hello? Where are you? Hey. Hey. Lydia. Lydia. Lydia, take care of this. It actually took her two hits with that huge bone weapon to kill that thing. That's amazing. Okay, we're gonna five again. Then we're gonna get on our back here. I like how I have to look at his bony ass every time I summon him. Like every single time I just come up in his bony ass. It's great. Oh, and I was supposed to give that letter to him and I didn't. Oops. You know what? You know what? <laughs> Hold on, be right back. Because what if he sends us to the temple or something, or in the direction of the temple, which is probably, you know, a thing that can happen. Let's go down here and give him this letter. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm too excited. I want to get into, I want to get into this island and like actually do stuff. Hello? What's happening over there? Hey. Arvac? Arvac, you got this, buddy. Or not. <laughs> gonna get up like somebody just hit me in the face with a frying pan. <laughs> what are these guys? Are these still ash guys? Yeah they are. Oh hey you can I guess Arvac was just in the way. You can kind of do magic third person. A little bit. As long as you keep the reticle. No! That reticle was right over him and it didn't do anything. That was a rock. Third person. This is working out okay. Lydia's having some pathfinding issues. I, I get it. I get it. It's fine. Is he still not dead? Let me help. No. I don't like that sound. That stupid freaking bug sound. I think there's a bug right behind me every single time. That is not cool, Skyrim. It is not cool to do. Okay. Let's go, let's go give this guy this letter. 